Thank you for purchasing the Mountain Valley Seed Garden Variety Pack. All of the seeds were grown, produced, and packaged here in the USA, and your purchase is supporting small, local, independent farmers. And we thank you for that. You'll see when you get this product home that these seeds will grow anywhere in the nation. They've all been selected for varieties that will do well anywhere in the U.S. When you flip your packaging over, you'll see a handy map on the back, which gives you a rough approximation of the planting dates for your region. So for the cooler northern climates, you'll find the information here for onions, in, for instance, in April and May would be about the time you want to look at planting those onions. In the Midwest region, you'll find the information in green, and in the southern regions, the information in yellow. Once you get your packaging home, the easiest way to open it is just to bend the packaging at the top, and you can pull back the top strip, pull back the sides, and fold over and remove the seed packages. There's a small piece of removable photo tape that won't tear your packages, and you can get all of your packages out. When you flip the packages over, you'll see all the specific planting information that you need for that specific variety as far as planting depth, plant spacing, and other great information. Give it a quick read. What I like to do after I get all of my packages out is I like to divide them up into a couple of groups. The first group is those that I'm going to start indoors that need just a little bit extra time and that we're going to start before the ground's really ready outside. In this case, that's the tomatoes and the peppers. The next group of plants that you're going to start are your somewhat more hardy vegetables. These are ones that can handle a little bit of the little bit of the cooler nights, but still need the ground to be warm and workable. That's your peas, kale, and onions. Some people like to start their herbs indoors with these vegetables. I'm going to go ahead and start mine outdoors. I find they will do just as well. Uh, when I'm going to start those, when I start all of my other items after all danger of frost is passed. So I'm going to plant my basil, my cilantro, my cucumbers, my chard, carrots, squash, lettuce, and beets directly in the ground after all danger of frost has passed. And again, you can refer to your farmer's almanac for all kinds of great planting information and times, or just research uh, with your local county extension for your specific area to find the best planting times for you. Thanks, and happy growing.